Attorney General Merrick Garland was the first to call for the release of that search warrant yesterday. He doesn't usually talk publicly about active investigations, but on Thursday, he made an exception, citing strong public interest in this case. The surprise media appearance highlights the historic nature of this week's events. And Joe Khalil is live outside of the Justice Department with more on Garland's short but jam-packed and very important public statement. Joe? Yeah, it was quite something, Mitch. And, you know, when the attorney general made that public statement effectively calling for uh, the warrant in this case that allowed for the FBI to raid Mar-a-Lago to be unsealed, what he did was say to the former president and Trump's legal team, the ball is now in your court. So here we are at the Department of Justice this morning. We are waiting as the DOJ is waiting for the formal response from the Trump team. Of course, we know that President Trump said on social media that he wants everything to be unsealed and he wants all of these things to be made public. Of course, the documents that would be made public later today, President Trump already has. So he actually could release them himself. Uh, instead, it seems more likely we're going to go through this process now and the Department of Justice is going to eventually unseal them later today. Now, the Attorney General broke with a ton of norms in the DOJ in a major way when he publicly addressed this investigation yesterday. It, it is incredible that, and rare that a sitting AG would comment at all, let alone ask for the warrant on an FBI raid to be unsealed. But Garland yesterday made clear that this was his call, and he says he did this because of just how unprecedented the entire situation is, all of the backlash the DOJ has been getting, and the public interest in understanding why the DOJ felt like a raid was the only way they could get these documents. Here's a bit of what Garland said. I personally approved the decision to seek a search warrant in this matter. Second, the department does not take such a decision lightly. Where possible, it is standard practice to seek less intrusive means as an alternative to a search and to narrowly scope any search that is undertaken. So his last point was important there. He said that they would typically try less intrusive means than an FBI raid to get these documents. And so what he is suggesting there is that the DOJ was trying in some ways to get those documents from Mar-a-Lago without having to send the FBI in and that in some way uh, the Trump team was blocking them from doing that. Now, of course, we heard from President Trump's lawyer last night on News Nation. We just played it during Brian's hit. Uh, she refutes that. She says that they have been complying with the DOJ and cooperating. So there's a disconnect there in what we're kind of hearing from both sides. We'll see what happens as more information plays out, and we're keeping an eye on that 3 o'clock deadline for this warrant to be unsealed. Guys. And that is Joe Khalil live outside the Department of Justice in Washington, D.C. for us this morning. Thank you, Joe. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.